We were so excited because DeLuca made a huge move last night. Yeah. He finally said something. What do you think's going to happen from this? I don't know. I think it's an inter interesting point to finally have DeLuca say how he felt. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely, you know, Meredith wasn't able to completely collect herself from that moment and, and say how she feels. She's like, I've had a long week. Let me get back to you on right. that. Well, and what's her, like, being all high and mighty about how she's your boss and this is inappropriate? Like, that really should not... I think they're excuses. <laughs> I think that's, like, her trying to tell herself or buy herself more time. Okay. Um, I think, you know, the fact that I was dating her sister for a while is pretty... Yes, like, that's a, that's a well, concern. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's valid. Is it hard to act that out to show feelings towards Meredith, but also maybe still have a little bit of feelings for her sister? Because, I mean, it's an ex that you cared about. Yeah, I, th I think DeLuca's moved on from that relationship yeah. for sure. But, uh, of course, yeah, there's always something that was a past partner, you know what I mean? That's uh, it's obviously something's always going to be there. But yeah. uh, but he's all in, I think, with, uh, with Meredith, for Is sure. Is there a special trick as an actor to give special googly eyes to the girl that you're supposed to be in love with on the show? <laughs> <Is there laughs> what is the trick? trick? Yeah. Ellen's just great. She's really lovely and is always so connected. So whenever we do scenes together, I, I got the googly eyes. She's great. <laughs> All right. Well, we have such a cliffhanger that you guys left us with. Tell us something to hold us over until we finally get to see Grace again next year. Well, when we come back, we're still stuck in that elevator. Okay. And so this is a point where these two peach, you know, Meredith's been running from DeLuca in a way. Every time he's offered something, I gotta go, I'll take the stairs. Not right now, I've had a long week. Right. So this is finally a chance where he's kind of got her backed in a corner where there's nowhere to run. So she has to talk, she has to tell DeLuca how he feels. So when we come back from the, from the break, we're gonna, have, uh, we're gonna be seeing Meredith in a place where she, she has no choice. And so she will kind of uh, say how she feels. They're gonna have a really heart-to-heart -heart conversation about their lives to get to know each other on a more deeper emotional level. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think this is gonna help both of them fall more in love with each other. Oh, so it's happening. Lincoln's out. <laughs> no, 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 he's still in. It's very much a love triangle. <laughs> but this is just, a, you know, in a chess game between Link and I, this is where I, I have a move against him because I get this special time in this elevator that he doesn't, you know what I mean? Gotcha. So then he's gonna have to wor work very hard to catch up and. Yeah. Is there anything that Lincoln Lincoln's character has that you kind of wish DeLuca had? Maybe like a little more suave, a little more aggressiveness. Well, I, uh, I don't do know. You, what I, do you think? I think he's you a think great. He's, he's it, a right? great character. He's very confident. He's a great doctor. He's also, you know, there was an episode where he was helping a, a young boy who had cancer, mm -hmm. and he cut his hair off to make him feel better, because yeah. he also survived that himself. So that's very endearing and charming, mm -hmm. and I think for any woman to, to witness that would be very, you know, hard to kind of stray away from. I mean, it's a guy who's good with kids and yeah. all that, you know. Yeah. Um, but uh, you kind yeah, of like, so why'd you give him that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, yeah. guys? Why couldn't I get no? <laughs> <laughs> I want that but, line. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm, I'm hoping it works out because it's, it's been fun to play the, the love triangle for sure. Now, you've been on Grey's for several seasons, mm -hmm. but when you first came on, did you get any advice from Ellen or any of the other veterans that have been there since day one? Like, your life is about to change. Yeah, certainly. I mean, everybody was very welcoming and, you know, there's sort of like a, a, a system on Grey's Anatomy of interns coming in and certainly like... Uh, Last year, when we had a new intern class come in, for me it was very like the passage of time because I was like, oh, I was an intern, yeah. and now I'm a resident. So I was like, wow, three years have gone by because now there's a new intern class. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I think uh, one thing is like when I when I first came to set was I was learning my lines like so you know right away, and um, the script goes through so many changes, especially the medical dialogue. Oh, Sometimes oh our gosh. medical thing will completely change. Yeah. So then I'm. You know, relearning three different versions of the same thing. So I've learned to just kind of, you know, wait. Wait. Do you just prep yeah. like the day of? No, no. Like a couple of days before, I'll just go over, go over the lines because I'm more certain that they're not going to change.